You've been hard at work researching a topic in the library catalog and found some books that look really great. So now what? Find your book by using the call number. It's not like translating hieroglyphics. It's easy when you know how to break it apart. In the catalog, you are given the call number in a straight line, like this. On the book, you will find the call number stacked in pieces, like this. Writing your call number down in this format will help you find the book even faster. Also note the collection. This will guide you to the correct location in the library to search for the book. Some common collections include circulation, leisure, and reference. If you have trouble locating a particular collection, ask a librarian for help. Also note the due column for item availability. Available means that the book is on the shelf. A date or other information means that the book is either checked out or unavailable. The library's classification system runs in alphabetical order. It starts at A and ends at Z. Each letter represents a broad subject area. The number below it is a more specific area of that subject. Numbers go from low to high. Additional lines of the call number represent information on the specific book. Here's the general collection at the Leesburg Campus Library. A starts on the far right wall and letters go higher as you move to the left. Shelves are organized similarly at our Sumter and Southlake Campus Libraries. Notice the little signs on each shelf? Let's take a closer look. The range of call numbers on a particular shelf is listed on the sign. Knowing this, let's now look for the call number we showed you previously. Walk along until you find the shelf containing the first set of letters and numbers for your book. Here's the correct shelf. ML 1700 falls between ML 91 and NA 7350. When you have come to the shelf where your book is located, here is an overhead view of how the range of call numbers are organized on each row. On the right hand sign, JX 1421 begins immediately at the start of the row and continues along to ML 90. Then continuing around to the next row, ML91 begins at the far end and continues on to NA7350 at the beginning of the row where you are standing. Our call number would probably be located in this section of the row. Next, walk down the shelf looking for ML1700. Notice how the numbers go from low to high. 1200s, 1300s, 1500s, here's 1700. Notice how the second letter and number combination goes alphabetically A to Z and numerically low to high. B47, B86, G83, K74, and finally K86. We've located the book that we first found in the catalog by breaking the call number apart into pieces. If you have trouble finding a book, talk to a librarian.